Welcome to another fishing adventure. My name is Carl, and we're off down the pier at Goulston to have another fishing trip. Just going to pop into Goulston Tackle here, grab some bait, and off we go. This trip is just to use up worms from a previous trip. We just thought we'd pop in the tackle shop and grab some bigger baits, like squid and bluey, stuff like that, just so we can fish some bigger baits while using the worms up. So as you can see, it's fairly rough out there, and this is the bottom of the tide, so as the tide comes up it's going to get a lot rougher and a lot bigger swells etc. Probably going to be breaking over the pier with this wind. So I've got Andy with me today, and we're just using that bait from a previous trip. We did go and pop in the shop and just grab a little bit more just to make sure we got enough, but this is really just to use up leftover worms. Struggling to fish on our side, 
big waves. We may have to move, we'll have to see how we go. We'll let it get dark, see if we can get a few boats. get back to the rods. Hopefully getting dark should be getting a few bites. Got big baits out tonight trying for much bigger fish. Got a whole squid on, got half a bluey cutting half on and stuff like that. One rod is on worm baits which is rag. Hopefully we'll get a few on that one. fish but go on have a line.
Okay, fish number one. The bass on ragworm, close in. Just as it got dark. No boats on the other rod yet. Got a whole squid out and bits of blue here. Squid, bluey, all sorts, enough to get some fish. <laughs> Not as many worms as we normally get. We just sort of finished our bait on the trip the other day where we had 156 fish, which was unbelievable. <laughs> Lots of black lug here, which should do the job for some whiting, maybe. Hopefully, a codlin. We'll go from here. Well, no more fish yet. Waves are absolutely massive. They're coming over the pier, halfway down the pier, and at the end of the pier. And the tide's only halfway up. Wish I could show you, but I've got no way of showing you. I'll try and show you on the river side. Get soaked. This is my next rod. No point still, it's not close in. I can't show you the waves. And he's got a whole squid out and some worm baits, same as me. It's very hard going at the moment. It's one conditions, as you can hear. Very hard. Well, we're in again, second fish, fish number two. Whiting this time. Fairly decent size one as well. Two 
took a while to get that bite, but we've managed to get one. Something's had a go at his tail by the looks of it, or something's grabbed it, as you can probably see. Okay. Yeah, fish number two. So we decided to move, we're not catching too much. We moved on to the riverside. The tide's going through 100 mile an hour. We're going to give it a go for the last couple of hours, we're going to try. Jumped in the car for two minutes just so I can actually talk to you so you can actually hear me for a change out of that wind. Well, that's unbelievable. Like that's 20 plus mile an hour, probably 25, 28 mile an hour winds, and the tides are absolutely huge. The waves have come flying in, just wiping out everything as I go across. We are holding bottom, but the rods are going down, obviously, with the waves bending right over, picking up bits of weed and stuff. But we're still trying. As I said before, we've moved into the river. And we're going to give it a couple of hours. If nothing happens, then it's going to be time to pack up. We had five hours on the seaside. And I had a bass and a whiting. And he's yet to get one yet. But hopefully he's going to get one on this side. And get away from the blank, basically. Even a whiting will do just to get off the blank. It'd be nice if I could catch another one as well. So we'll have a go. But this is the roughest I've ever seen in Gorston River before. <laughs> so we just have to try. The video is going to be a bit weird because it's so windy and I could hardly talk to you. So it's probably going to be a short video and not as good as normal, but we'll have a go. Unbelievable how a couple of days can make such a big difference. I mean, two days ago I was fishing Dunnage and I had 156 plus fish of all different species. If you haven't seen that video, go onto my account and have a look. And have a look at some of my other videos. Right, so we'll give this another couple of hours, see if we can get some more fish, and I'll bring you back if we get some more. If not, we'll see you in the car soon with an update. Well, we're really got now. I'm just playing a double figure ray for about 15, 20 minutes. Got it to the surface, saw a big fish. And you can guess it, yeah, they come off. This bloody tide run was so rough. It just didn't stay on. I had it on for a good 15, 20 minutes. Give me a hell of a fight. Me and Andy standing down on the side of the wall ready to pull it up, but no, it weren't to be. I don't believe it. Easily been one of my biggest sea fish. Or my biggest ray by miles. Uh, there we go. Can't believe it. Alright, I'll have another car, see if I can get another one, but. It's going to take some years to get another one like that, probably. Right, let's have another go. It was a big double black lug. 
um, with a bit of squid on the end, or pretty much a whole squid on the end of it as well, all wrapped up. Right, wheat snap. There we go, it's part of the fishing, I suppose. <sighs> right, here we go again. Well, still shaking after losing that massive ray. It was well into double figures. But, uh, it's top of the tide now, half 11. We're gonna fish slack water, see how things go. And sort of make a decision from there, really. If the fish can pick up, then we'll carry on. If it doesn't, then it'll be time to pack up. And that'll be the end of this trip. Having to keep coming back to the car because there's a wind, obviously, so I can talk to you, which is a pain. But I'm only fishing in front of the car now anyway, so it's not a problem. The waves are coming on to the car park over the other side of the car park, which I'll spin you around and show you now. Yeah, over here. Not that you can probably see. car but <laughs> right up to the end of the spaces. back in the car just about to pack up really hard trip but we had a really good go spent five hours on the seaside and about three hours on the riverside had a bass which isn't too bad and a whiten but losing that massive ray was really annoying <laughs> sit right in front of me come up twice onto the surface and then the hook pulled it was well into double figures the hook was straightened out so i'm gonna to have to look into changing my hooks i think because there's two i've lost in the last two sessions which is really annoying but we had a good go so i'll say now thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video please like and subscribe we can't always catch over 100 fish in every session but we always have a good go <laughs> okay see you soon thanks for watching